Hi, I'm Danielle Diamond, founder of Zen Strength Yoga with Weights. Today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite alignment tips in Flying Warrior, and then we're going to add a tricep kickback to tighten up those arms. So we're going to come in as if we're coming into a lunge. So I'm going to teach from the right side. The right toes are at 12 o'clock, the left toes are at 12 o'clock. So your feet, pretend you're like on a train track, right? You don't want to have your heels lined up, you want to have your heels in line with your hips so you have a little space between your hips your between your heels so you're going to bend into that right knee watch that when you bend into your knee it doesn't come past your ankle if it does you just want to take your back foot back a little bit more okay so the option here if you were ever doing a lunge pose would always be to drop your knee you could even do the flying warrior um, with your knee down okay Otherwise, that back leg is internally rotating and then pressing back, so you're extending through the heel. Now the tricky thing is, when we start to press the thigh back, we start to have this big arch, this back bend in our low back. So it's, it's kind of about trying to find that balance between having the tailbone at neutral, the navel engaged, but then not having the back knee all the way bent. So you play with it. You start to press the thigh back, you engage, you kind of keep trying to bring your tailbone down to neutral, and then you find that space where you're comfortable. So as you're bending into that right thigh more, you keep pressing that left thigh back. So we're gonna fold halfway, which will, um, make you engage your core a lot more, right? But instead of folding forward and rounding the back, think about an upward facing dog here. So if you've ever watched any of my other videos, you'll see that I like to teach forward bends with a back bend mindset so that you're still keeping that extension in the spine. So you're gonna hinge at the hips, lengthen out. So kind of like you can even take your hands to your hips and press your hips back and then lengthen both sides of the waist out through the armpits Keep pressing back through that heel as you bend into the right knee and then bring the palms back by the hips face up. If you want more shoulder opening here, you can always interlace the hands behind you as well. So again, you're gonna work the quads, the glutes, the hamstrings here. If it becomes too much and you're holding it, if you're in a class, you could just drop the knee and you can be here. But the main thing is you really wanna have that extension and that energy from the core pressing back and then forward through the crown of the head as you fold forward. So now that you have the alignment down in Flying Warrior, you're going to add some weights. So we'll come back into that alignment. Again, if you need to drop your knee down, do it. Try and bend into that right thigh, get the knee over the ankle, roll that left thigh in and up, press that back. Navel in and up, extend out through the crown of the head. Then you're gonna take the weights at the shoulders, Again, think upward dog here. And then inhale, press the weights all the way up until you feel a little pinch in the triceps. And exhale, bring it back. Inhale, exhale again. It can look like this if you need it to, right? If you're in a class and it's too hard to do it with the knee up, just bring it down. Otherwise, press it back and bring it in. And extension. So if you haven't heard me talk about the breath in any of my other videos, then I just want to let you know that I focus on yoga breath even when I add the weight. So we're always inhaling on extension and exhaling on flexion. Sometimes personal trainers and when you're doing just strength training exercises, they will teach the opposite. Sometimes it's an inhale on the flexion. Whatever works for you, as long as you're breathing, is all good, so don't sweat it. <laughs> for more videos like this, go to zenstrength.com.